Amid reports that child deaths are spiking nationwide, accurate reporting of child death data is especially important. Emily Zuhowski tells us how the Charleston County Coroner's Office is hoping a new pilot grant will help them find out the consistent risk factors for children's deaths in the county and work on ways to prevent these deaths sooner. Here in South Carolina, there is a law where each coroner has to conduct a child fatality review after the death of any child 17 and younger to investigate why and how they died. The coroner conducts these child death reviews after each death that occurs in the county, and that information is inputted into a national database by the South Carolina Department of Social Services. But Charleston County Coroner Bobby Joe O'Neill says they're behind by a couple of years. Here in Charleston County, we want to put the information in real time and then that way our community has the information in real time. That's why the coroner's office applied for a pilot grant from the Michigan Public Health Institute, which aims to address barriers for agencies that were having a hard time putting information into that national database. By looking at them collectively, we can see what the risk factors are within our community and then look at those risk factors and provide education and prevention programs to try to prevent future children's deaths. That's the goal. We're missing the current stuff that's going on. This data is especially important for MUSC injury prevention coordinator Mary Beth Vassy, who uses the data for injury prevention to know what's really going on in our communities. Child deaths and the child injuries, it has, I mean, it's just gone up exponentially. And if we don't have proper reporting on it, we can't intervene and we can't do those things to protect those kids. O'Neill hopes that they can make great progress so that they can apply for a five year grant through the CDC. She says she also hopes that soon they can help their neighbors here in the Tri County and put their data into the national database so that hopefully they can all work together to help prevent deaths in the entire region. Reporting in Charleston County, Emily Zuhowski, Live 5 News.